guys look what I bought it's pretty neat um, it goes pretty well and uh, <laughs> it's faster than my other cars say hello to my new thing the Nissan Exa this just this ain't just any old Exa it's Kodak yellow Yellow rare, very rare. Oh, I, I absolutely love the interior. Yeah, 1991 manual Nissan Exa M13 Pulsar, pretty much a rounded S12 Gazelle, and it has an engineered engine swap, but not just any engine. S13 CA18 DET. And it does choo choos. All the choo choos. And it's got a uh, Microtech ECU. Oil leaks. It's got some sweet oil leaks. Bearing noises. Yes, bearing noises. Not, not. Plenty of them. Quick run over of the car. Derek and I went and picked it up from absolutely ages away. We got back here at 4 a.m. in the morning and just absolutely carped it on the couch. Apparently, this guy has had a lot of work done to it. It's, a lot, it's got a lot of like cool stuff. It's got a front man intercooler, Microtech ECU, CA18 DT. Um, apparently it is engineered. Right. He did contact the guy to get the papers back and they were like, oh yeah, you know, I thought we sent them with you, but if not, we'll um, contact the shop and... It was engineered, what, back in 2000? 2001? Yeah, so I don't know. Um, the engine itself is imported on its own, which is kind of cool. Well, all I said is they imported, so the engine's Yeah, I know, but like, this uh, was imported by itself. Yeah, right, right. Not with a car or anything. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't imported from an S13 and someone swapped it out. Clutch is major fucked. Sump is major fucked. The valve covers, very leaky. The idler bearing, very nice and noisy. The core engine is good, it's really smooth. smooth. It's been dyno tuned. Apparently, dyno apparently says it's making 134 wheel horsepower. Which is, you'll all laugh at that, but that's faster than both of my cars. But it won't be soon because that'll be in one of my cars. It is one of your cars. Part of the deal was like, Derek can have the body, the engineered shell. Engineered. Engineered, yeah. In a rare colour. <laughs> um, well, apparently, apparently, yeah, with the Kodak Yellow, there were only seven ever made in Kodak Yellow, and only six were ever sold to the public in that colour. I'm not even a fan of the colour. Nah, there's a reason it didn't sell. There's probably a reason they didn't make a lot of them. Yeah, the original yellow is kind of nice, but then it's got this weird kind of white pearl. Uh, clear, like white pearl clear coat over the top of it so it just looks more faded than it needs to be it would like it came looking faded from factory yes. Ta-da! it's a tiger top yeah. sorry i'm in the way yeah. and like super easy to remove <laughs> it's pretty neat <clears throat> and the fucking and up. apparently you can take off the whole like boot the scans of factory catalogs <laughs> in this big booklet of all the work they ever did on it. <clears throat> but like, in those scans, it's this picture of like the target top open, no boot, and a surfboard sticking out the back. <laughs> um, the back seats are literally just like a couple of rectangle cushions. It's got a turbo timer. Yeah, turbo timer down the bottom. Um, it's got a really cool steering wheel. And it's got these funky, like, early R32 style. I guess you could say that. Would you say more 300. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's better, that's a better example. Yeah. 300 ZX looking things. You got these funky ass door speakers. Door speakers? <laughs> Sorry. Speakers. You got these funky ass door vents. They're kind of funky. I like them. These are like the same as S13 buttons. It is a 1991. There's a Microtech ECU under the passenger seat. These seats are so nice. Yeah. They're so, they're, they're definitely going in the Gazelle. S six stacker CD player from yeah. not like 1999, 2001. Ancient thing. The actual six stacker CD box is at the back here. I don't know if you can see it. Eh. Right there. I like it. It's, it's real quick. Some what it is? Oh, mate. There you go. And some proto frogs in the back. Um. There's, yeah, there's there's those. There's caramello koalas like all over the fucking place. Like, there's one. Um, hang on. There's another one. 
I kind of want them, but like, I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Yeah. It's this weird phase between 80s and 90s. It's a cool car. And I like it. But it's front wheel drive. But it's front wheel drive, exactly. It's front wheel drive. Which, yeah, like, cool. Nothing wrong with that, if that's what you want. But I don't want that. <laughs> but I want this engine. And I want these seats. And I want all the little bits and pieces of trim that I can pinch. <laughs> No, I, I like it, it's cool. I'll switch to wide angle so you can probably see everything a little bit better. Get an idea for the... Man, that back seat is actually so funny. If I was into front wheel drives, and I could get this, an engineered Exa with a S13 CA18DT, then I would get that. But I ain't into front wheel drive. So this is, if this thing was rear wheel drive, it would, I'd probably just keep it the way it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, fix up some stuff, definitely. It's been like Dynatune and stuff, but it's on like, Dyna Dynatuned and all that kind of shit, but to run standard boost, <laughs> on the T25, the which is kind of interesting. It does run so smoothly though. Mm. Um, but would probably, I'm gonna crank the boost to like maximum, but like we'll turn the boost up a bit. But there's absolutely no doubt when we pull the engine, there's gonna be a lot of tidying up going on. We got the time. There's no rush. Ru rush? There's no rush. There's no rush. I'm honestly so keen. I'll probably like <laughs> repaint the rocker cover in like a nice vibrant wrinkle red. Same with the intake plenum, because I want to pretend that this is an FJ. Until I get an FJ, because it's gonna happen. <laughs> and we need to sort, we need to figure out the mounts, because the mounts are like obviously not gonna be the same. Because this has been mounted front wheel drive. <clears throat> same block. And the alternator's on the wrong side. Yeah. I should just say this is my new C18 DET. My new cadet. Oh, and it's got some mad, some, some nice hail damage on the top. Yeah, well, it's all this thing had like, you know, really good body, paints in good nick, paints really rare. I'm not gonna say all this stuff, because now I'm just roasting the guy. But pretty much, yeah. We are told like there was no rust or anything, and like the body's in good condition, but like, there's decent bits of bubbling in these A-pillars. Um, the actual, like, little mounts for the bumpers and stuff under here, little brackets are like, rusted as hell. Bit of hail damage all over the car. This is gonna be neat for a swap. Yours is much, much tidier. <laughs> Cause yours, yours is a T28, isn't it? Yeah. And it's back here, not here. Yeah. I feel like if you went to a T28 and even put it on stock boost and tuned it, you'd probably make more than 134 wheel. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's the machine. That's, that's the, that is the project donor car. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. That's it. Hope you guys get excited for this swap over. Um, it's not going to happen quickly, but it's going to happen. And yes. it's going to be a bit of fun. I'm keen. So, see you around.